What we're going to do right now is we are going to do an exothermic reaction, which would also involve temperature. Can we stop talking behind me, please? Thank you. Um, but this one is going to release energy instead of absorbing energy. And we are just going to be burning alcohol. Sorry, it's a little dark. It's hard for me to. What kind of alcohol? Uh, this is uh, ethyl alcohol. So this is 95% pure um, of the version of alcohol that people would drink, but none of you would drink. Okay. Um, so alcohol burns. But if I were to just drop a flame on top of this, it would burn at the surface and then it would probably snuff itself out as it used up the oxygen that was in here. And in order for it to burn, we have to actually let the alcohol touch the air. In here, that's only happening at the surface. And is it a large surface or a small surface? Small surface. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to spread the alcohol out as much as possible to mix it with as much air as possible so it doesn't just burn a tiny bit on this tiny little surface, but we try to burn it everywhere within this container. So I'm going to dump it into the container, and then I'm going to shake it around, and I am going to look a little silly as I do it. I'm going to plug both openings, and we are going to spread the alcohol out inside the container. Okay? And we're mixing it with oxygen, so now the surface um, where the oxygen interacts with the alcohol is not small, it is large. Later. And now everybody come up please and put your hands on the container. It's hot. And it is hot. So this is an example of a chemical change, but this is one where the temperature increased. So it got hot instead of getting cold. What I have here are uh, two different solutions. Okay? Uh, the one that's fairly clear is a solution of uh, a chemical called potassium iodide. And this one that's a little bit cloudy is a solution called lead nitrate. Now, when they go into water, because they're ionic compounds, they break apart into ions. So there isn't actually any lead iodide here. What it is is lead ions, sorry, potassium iodide which is potassium ions, K plus, floating around the solution, and iodide ions, I minus, floating around the solution. On this side, I've got the lead ions, Pb2 plus, and the nitrate ions, NO3 minus. And they're floating around, and they're staying um, separated while they're in solution. But when I pour them together, two of those ions, which were in different containers, become very attracted to each other, and when they do, they're going to make something new. And uh, maybe you can figure out if it's a chemical change or not based on color change. Okay? And so we made a new substance here. Does it have new properties? Yeah. Okay? It's got a new color. We also changed phase here. We went from a solution to a suspension. So the yellow uh, material is actually solid. That's falling to the bottom of the container.